the NES Remix. Okay, time for NES Remix pack. Yeah, it literally just includes NES Remix 1 and NES Remix 2. It's not like Ultimate NES Remix, which kind of merges the two. I played this once. The oldest sprites. I'm sad they didn't make give this a comeback on the Switch. Like, it seems like a pretty interesting idea. You can see this. It was 13, 2014. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty early in the lifespan of the Wii then. I actually say early, but by 2015, the Wii was pretty much dead. Okay, so I guess you have to use the gamepad. It's not letting me do it. It's not letting me use the controller. Now it is. Oh, how do they do that? They make you have to. Okay, so you can see there's all this, all these games. You need 20 sides, but see, basically stars you gotta do. Uh, Probably one I haven't done yet. For this, I right, what's this all about? Okay, you. Oh, I see. I see. Shows you how well I know. <laughs> we started this. I okay. I I didn't even realize that you had to. I thought you could just hit them while they were down. Shows you how well I know this game. Bank in this. I don't know if I'm gonna get three stars for this. There we go, I got three stars. So that's basically how it did. So we're now stage three in the NES Remix. So that's basically how this works. It's a pretty interesting game. And using Miiverse, which, yeah. Ah. I wanna see what this is. And we'll also try NES, because I don't even know if I ever tried NES Remix too. <laughs> Trying to run, but he wouldn't run. Huh. Yeah, I guess, I guess. Damn. Ah, uh, that's how you do it. You got to do it on your first try. Oh, okay, that's probably no. It's also time based. Okay. And as I played this game last year. I sucked back then too. I eventually did beat it without saving, using save states, but it was difficult. It's weird how it works, so that's definitely not how the game originally looked. Yeah. That wasn't so bad. At all. Oh, those are flashing. Where? What? So, what makes it a, a flashing one and not flash? What's this? Is this just? That's just a guide. Okay.
Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Aqua Engineer. I don't know why he wouldn't he wasn't jump. I guess if you're right up on the wall, he can't jump. I didn't realize that. to the top. Because that one is just normal. See, I didn't get all light like the other one did. I don't know what how it determines that. Interesting. Basically, you see, looks like this game I had unlocked. That's an interesting game. I might actually try to do it. I don't know if there's a way to restart this though, like delete your save off. Just so I can restart it later on, but let's. Oh, I didn't want that. Is there a way to go back? There. I was thinking, is it gonna make you have to quit the game? But some games do that. They make you have to quit back to the menu in order to choose the other game. And I always wonder, like, why? Look at it makes you have to use the gamepad to do that. Why did they do that? Let's you use the okay. So, game sorry, the Super Luigi Brothers championship mode. Super Luigi Brothers is basically the whole entire uh, Super Mario Brothers with backwards, if I remember correctly. It's, yeah, there we go. Maybe someday, but you gotta, if I remember correctly, don't you gotta do this all in one go? I can't be, and I, how, how do you use the select and start thing when I played it? So I just had to start back at the beginning of the world. Yeah, this is internet i i this was actually a pretty cool idea i don't know why they never they could have done an, an snes remix but they didn't or even more nes like i don't know why the, they never did anything more with this on the switch then that's just nintendo it's like they barely ever release a lot of their old like a lot of their older classics they don't release or hold them hostage or whatever and then they wonder why people pirate their games well, maybe make your games more available if you want people to play them. Portable, I should say. Because you, you could just buy the old games and consoles, but those can be really expensive. I guess the good thing about this is that actually moving right is right, moving left is left. It does, it's not completely flipped or... It's like that, or that would be really annoying. Okay, so let's... How do I get out of here? Do you gotta die? To get out of here? Weird. It is what you have to do, but I, I guess I wouldn't put it past them. Spinies or spinies. Oh my god, I don't... I'd use the magic pixel jump. I 
gonna hide and get hit by them. I'm glad I haven't died yet. Of course, that's just literally the beginning, though. Here's the other one. I think it just takes you to World 7, right? You can see the... Oh, yeah. I was expecting it to come the other way. It kind of messed me up. Looks sick. I thought that's where mushroom would be, apparently not. Yeah, that was messed up. I want to see what, what it does now. How do I get out of this? There's gotta be a way to get out of here, right? I died. Alright, let's just see if I get a game over for a quit out. Pretty cool. What else to do? A B start. Press A B start. No, I won't let you do it. I was trying to use the A-B start, but I'm trying to quick get out of here. Okay. I guess you gotta quit. I don't see any- I don't know why this not letting me get out. I want to check NES Remix too, just to see which games are in that one. You know what, the file size for this must not be very big. So it's just NES games, but who knows, it could be a lot bigger. I'm gonna wait the Wario looks. It asks you that every single time, wow. That's something. That's really something. I never played this before, apparently. Alright, this guy's remember this three. Which is nice. You see, the, they actually kind of have scenarios that you do. You weren't really doing the original game. Three. Wow. Well. I didn't think that would be three. I kind of was slow there. It was actually really slow. Oh wow, it's, I, I was wondering what was going on. I was like, it's, what's it going on? It's literally making me have to wait for it to, to do all this. That's 12 stages, wow. You see, there's another game, looks like we got unlocked. Metroid's gotta be on one of these two, right? I don't know which of the two, though. That's a puzzle game. Yeah. This is Dr. Mario and Wario's Woods. It's got two puzzle games on it, well. Check Kirby's Adventure. This is interesting. And down, okay. So up is jump.
Yeah. yeah, it's actually very cool. This actually got pretty good graphics for an NES game, too. Nice walk for a short break. <laughs> I really made it. It's still a lot of video I can watch. Use six tricks to win, huh? Yeah, he does have lots of moves. Of course, in Super Smash is Ultimate, he's got a copy ability for every single character. <laughs> a lot of the person who is supposed to let me do anything. dead for a second there. Three stars, wow, so it really is kind of generous at first. There we go. That looked black and white, that was weird. Hey, so that's good enough for this game. I just wanted to show you what it was like. Let's see if we can look at these. Now, the Miiverse doesn't work, but it shows the stamp collection. It's all black and white now. How many stamps are there? A hundred. Looks a bit. Yeah, I don't know what alternate NES remix has compared to this. I think it's got some new ones, but a lot of it's the same. So if you did want to have both, yeah, I guess you could. So the first one must come out in 2013, while the second one came out in 2014. I just want to see which stamps I got in this one. It, every single time it's, it's gonna ask what this also has a hundred so you got a, to do a lot to beat this game but hey 100% at least all right close the software